Hello guys, this is the last video of this tutorial series and in this video we will code the server side of the chat application. So create a new folder and name this folder chat application. All the files will go inside this chat application that we are going to create. Now go to Google Chrome or any web browser you use. We will be using Ratchet library to create web sockets on the server side. We will use the documentation provided by Ratchet to build web socket connections. Go to socketo.me Click on learn more. And the first thing that we need to do is install Ratchet. Ratchet can be installed using Composer. So first we will install Composer. Open your terminal or command prompt. And running these commands will install Composer in your system. We will be installing Composer inside the chat application folder that we created. So navigate inside the folder. Now paste the command that you copied. Copy the next command. And run that too. Then copy the third command php composer setup.php paste it and press enter and the last command now if you see the chat application directory you can see composer installed now we will install Ratchet using C Composer. Navigate to the directory where the composer.phar file is located and run the command php composer.phar require cborden slash ratchet. As you can see, Composer has installed ratchet into this directory now click on hello world inside the tutorials section and we need to do some changes to the composer.json file copy these lines you don't need to know what they are doing and open the composer.json file and paste those lines here and save it. Okay, so every time you do any changes to the composer.json file, it is preferred that you update composer. You can update composer by running the command php composer.phar update and this will update composer now create two more directories inside the chat application directory name this bin and create one more directory and name this src and open any text editor and create a new file name this file server.php and create one more file and name this file chat.php now copy these lines 
and paste it in the server.php file. You don't need to know much about these lines. They instantiate the WebSocket on the server. And these are some parameters that go while instantiating a WebSocket server. The first thing that goes is the listener class. In, in our case, the listener class is named as chat. And here you pass the port number on which port this WebSocket is going to run. And then you run the WebSocket. That's it to instantiate the WebSocket. Now copy these lines. and paste it in the chat file. This class is the listener class for WebSocket connection in RatShed. This class implements message component interface and this message component interface has these four functions. First is on open, on message, on close and on error. On open is called when there is a new connection to the server on message is called when a connection sends any message to the server and on close is called when the connection closes and on error is called when, when there some error occurs. Now create a variable clients inside the constructor method of this class we will instantiate this clients object and this will be an array we will store all the new connections inside this clients array now whenever there is a new message we will echo that message to every single client that has been connected to the server create a for each loop for the clients and if client is not equals to the sender this will prevent echoing the message to the sender. So if client is not the one who is sending the message, then we will send that message to that particular client by calling dollar client send dollar message. Whenever there is new connection, we will echo new connection and whenever any connection closes we will echo connection closed and one more thing this server.php file will go inside the bin folder and the chat.php file will go inside the src folder now the project structure is important if you change it then you may face problems and we are done with everything so before we test the app we need to pass the url to the server now what url well first you need to find the ip address of the system on which the server is running for mac you can do that by running a command in the terminal that is if config grep inet and this will be the IP address. For Windows, you could run the command ipconfig and get the inet address. A WebSocket URL starts with ws, then colon, then double slash, and then the IP address of the system and the port on which the server is running. In our case, it's port 
8080 and also the server needs to be running for the application to work so navigate to the folder in which server.php file is located that is the bin folder and run the command php server.php and now run the application and you can see the connection has been established and you can see the new connection text on the server now we need a one more device to test the app. Now this application must work on all the devices which are connected to the same network. Now let's try sending some messages. Hello. As you can see, this thing is working. Let's send from this device. How are you? Okay, so that's it. And now my computer is not able to handle running these two emulators at the same time. So before it gets overheated and blasts off and kills me, I should close this video.